My name is Hannah Brogdon. I am white. And this is my story. Um, I grew up pretty sheltered in Minnesota. Um, in good ways and bad ways, I was, I was homeschooled and I had a really caring family and I went to a pretty diverse church. And so I never really saw any issues with, you know, what's been going on. Um, definitely wasn't attuned to it and was in, you know, like ignorant bliss, I guess, growing up. Um, and I had interracial relationships in my family and no one had ever said anything negative in response to that. And I'm sure there are parts of my family that aren't as loving, but I never really saw it. And so um, my eyes weren't really opened to racial injustice until I was in college. And I went to a winter festival and they were checking bags on the way in. And I usually carry a pretty large purse with me. And so I was expecting, you know, to go through the check bag line. And I had attended with two of my really close friends in college. One was Hispanic and one was African-American. And they were walking behind me and they let me pass. They didn't check my bag, they just let me walk through. And then I looked behind me wondering where my friends were because they only were wearing jackets. They didn't bring backpacks or anything. And both of the young men were being strip searched as they were entering the festival. I was shocked. I didn't understand why they needed that kind of measures when they didn't, I didn't see any threat. And I asked them about it and they said, Hannah, this kind of thing happens all the time. And I think that's really the moment where I became aware of the privilege that I have. Um, and I, I've i spent some time now um, just with recent events and since then, just kind of feeling like I'm in a, a swirl of bitterness and anger and sadness um, for the things that I can't fix or the wounds that I can't heal in my friends and in the people that I love. And now I am having the amazing opportunity of not only getting married, but marrying into a black family and thinking about the way that I might have to have a kind of conversation with my future children and um, the differences about how their dad grew up versus how I grew up. And um, just seeing how people will correct what they say when they remember that I'm dating or with someone who's a different race. They'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You have a, you have a black boyfriend. And um, I'm relieved to know that in the midst of all this, we serve a God of hope and justice and what we can't do and when our hearts are aching and our tears can't make up for all of the blood that's been shed, our God is bigger than that. And he is not sitting there watching all of this happen without feeling as brokenhearted as we are. And he has promised, he has promised multiple times that he will serve justice in the ways that we never can even imagine. And the victory that he's won extends to all of us, not just the one group of chosen people, but to everyone who serves him and loves him and believes in him, there is hope and freedom and victory. And in those moments where we're waiting for that justice, all we can do is soften our hearts to his word. My name is Hannah Brogdon, I'm white and we are one church, one family.